The land is a 600 acre vacant site that was a steel mill for 100 years owned by U.S. Steel. And now it's a joint venture with McCaffrey Interest and U.S. Steel and we're trying to redevelop the entire site for a future city that really has sustainability and job creation and is a living lab with all types of next generation technologies for the future of the city. So it will take approximately 40 years to build. We're trying to make this a legacy project for Chicago and the area. So that would be Midwest, regional. Legacy project would have to do with kind of what Daniel Burnham did at the turn of the century in the 1900s. He was a master planner and an architect and he worked with many commercial resources and business people and he was able to pull all the resources together and create a plan for Chicago for the next several hundred years. And a lot of the things we see in Chicago today are a result of Daniel Burnham's planning and vision. This, in that same sense, is a civic legacy project. It has a lot of planning undertones, meaning that it will need a lot of stakeholders and the best brilliant minds to take this thing and get it done. You always do everything mixed and everything has the same level of quality. I imagine so much because the sheer size alone uh, allows for it to be an, an entire community, an entire new community. This site is, is almost 600 acres in size and to put that in perspective, that's just as large, actually a little bit larger than the downtown loop area, the business district. There's an opportunity for some 17,000 units of housing here and millions of square feet of retail. And, and while we're talking about opportunities here, um, many people don't realize that President Obama formerly was a senator, a state senator here from Illinois and actually represented this district. So we're looking at moving forward with trying to have the President Barack Obama library on this site. I think there's a misconception that uh, the city and things to do and places to be kind of really end after the museum, uh, which is at 57th Street and really Hyde Park. And there's so much more to offer south of that area. So we have to use all these resources, kickstart it the best we know how with the rezoning like we did and a lot of marketing and get phase one in and get people comfortable coming down here like we did with the concert this summer. We had the Dave Matthews Band Caravan. We had over 107,000 people visit us. This is my first time here. I, I think it's a great um, idea. I think it's a great opportunity for the south side of Chicago to flourish because everybody is always talking about the north side, the north side, the north side. So I would love to see a place where I can literally walk to or take the bus and, I, and it has the same opportunities and the same flavor. I think that it's really important to let people know that we're definitely open for any types of ideas. We want all brilliant minds to come forward. We're really interested in collaborating, learning about other people's businesses, and learning about what their needs are, and really willing to accommodate any group to do tours. And we would accommodate anything from an institution, an educational institution, a distribution facility, a warehouse. We're really open to many types of uses. And over time, I think if we build that momentum along with our phase one, we can really get this thing off the ground.